guys, so today's video is going to be your questions on my surface anchors, specifically this one, but I will touch on both, of course. Um, so I'm just going to go right into your questions, and then I'm going to answer the questions that I was looking for answers to before I got this one. Okay, from Jennifer B, can you feel the post every time you talk, and do you get a lot of strangers stopping you in public? I don't feel the post when I talk. When I first got it, it felt tight in that area, and when I smiled, I can feel it move, but um, once it started to heal, I, I don't feel it anymore. I don't get a lot of people stopping me for this one. Most people think it's like a glued-on gem or something. This one, if someone happens to notice it, if I'm like close enough to them, then they say, hey, didn't that hurt? Because it's more obvious that it's a piercing, I guess. Jenny Wenny says, how did they pierce it, and how long did it take? took like five minutes. It's probably the easiest piercing, I mean, from my experience, because basically, say I was getting it here, they would mark it out, I would say, cool, that's where I want it, and they pinch the skin up and take the dermal punch, which is what I used. Some of people use just regular old needles, I believe. I'm not going to comment on that because I haven't gotten it done that way. Um, they punch a hole in the skin. Um, and it removes a hole of skin and then the bar of the jewelry is like this with a little post sticking out for the jewelry to screw onto and if you imagine that this is the hole they slide one in one end in and then the other end in it's mainly just pressure that you feel the actual piercing felt more like a sting or I don't know like I scratched on sunburn if you know what that feels like really wasn't that bad I would say all of my other piercings were more painful than both of my uh, surface anchors so Rosie cake says does it get itchy as it heals yeah it gets itchy um, this one is pretty much healed on the outside so it doesn't itch at all um, how did it feel compared to other piercings? Already said that. And can you sleep on it when it heals? So, because this this piercing is a very high maintenance one, the I'll insert pictures, but the jewelry, the bar of it has holes in it that your tissue can grow through so that it's more secure, um, and it's more likely to stay in place that way. So I would say while it's healing not to sleep on it because if you move it around while it's healing you'll probably keep stopping the tissue from growing and it will just constantly have to restart that process. Also when you first get it it's sore so you wouldn't want to lay on it anyway. It's been a little, almost two weeks with this guy and I can like lay on him and stuff and it's fine. It doesn't hurt and it doesn't move at all um, but the first few days I slept on my other side. That was my biggest concern when getting this because I am a slide sleeper, sleeper and I wanted to know if after it healed if it was ever a problem sleeping on it. Um, so I'm going to touch on that. A lot of people get it a little bit lower, like more in this area. Um, I have a smaller face so I felt like that would not look right on me and so we went with this spot. It kind of lined up with the end of my brow and it's almost perfect because when I do lay on this side it barely touches this anyway unless I'm like laying more so on my face um, and it still doesn't hurt or anything like that so I haven't had a problem I will of course do like an update when it's fully healed and when I change the jewelry because this is not the jewelry that I wanted um, like I said I have a small face and all the jewelry I liked was a lot bigger um, and just looked gigantic on me so this is a two millimeter one and it still looks pretty big to me. I probably get one and a half um, and I want a gold one. Either gold with a gem or gold with a, like a crystal type of thing or with a moonstone because I love moonstone. Um, yeah. So once I get the jewelry changed when it's healed, I'll do like an update on how it's been and how different it is dealing with it once it's healed. Cuboid Siren says, is it easy to keep it from snagging or hitting anything? If not, what sort of things do you have to watch out for? So, I'll talk about this one first. 
this one, um, out of the two, is the most difficult for me not to snag things on just because I'm not used to having something there. For this, because I'm used to like having makeup on and stuff and not wanting to rub my shirt on my face, um, it hasn't been that much of an issue, but for this one, say, okay, say this is a shirt. If, like at night, sometimes if the shirt rose up while it was healing, it would kind of get underneath the jewelry and lift it up, and I would feel that and wake up from it. So, um, that was like the main problem I had while it was healing. Now I don't really get caught anymore, I think, because I'm used to it. But I've also just been wearing lower cut shirts or higher cut shirts. And for necklaces, I would just avoid it if you're getting something in this area because that can become a tangly mess. And I don't imagine that would be very good. Something I did, I'm not going to say you should do because you're not supposed to cover it with a band-aid for very long. But I would basically, I'm trying to find something to show you. <laughs> Um, this is going to be a really bad demonstration, but say this is a band-aid, this is a conditioning packet. I would basically, and right in the middle of my hand is where the piercing is, I would basically make it so that the band-aid was going like this, not touching the piercing and like it still had room to breathe, but I have it like this so that if a shirt did start to come up, only at night, um, it would just rise over the band-aid and it wouldn't catch on the jewelry. When I, I did that for a week, that's it. Um, and then I felt like my piercing was more sturdy and like fully in place and I haven't had a problem with it since then and I haven't done the bad day thing since then so it's been good. So with this one I was afraid more so for like washing my face and taking makeup off and stuff like that if it would kind of come out. Not really come out but if it would like hurt or if I would bang it, you know, because I like aggressively washing my face and forget I had it and then knock it. Um, hasn't been a problem. I just feel like it's the perfect place because it is by my eye. I am more gentle around that area anyway. So it's been pretty good. Uh, ba, ba, ba. To get the jewelry changed, they kind of do a similar thing to how you get it in. They would basically pierce, uh, pinch that area. So say the bar is going vertically they would pinch it so that the bar would stay in place and then twist off the top. If you just twist off the top without holding the bar in place, you could kind of break the tissue that grew inside it and move what's underneath and it heal all over again or reject. Um, you could, I know some people twist it out anyway because they feel it, you know, it works for them, but I would want to be really cautious just because it is my face and I want it to last forever. I don't want it to reject. So I personally am going to a piercer to get it changed. I'm not going to do it myself. Um, let's see. Pricing varies by piercer, so I'm not even going to go into that. Um, depends what jewelry you get, all that stuff. I think that's it. I get a ton of questions on the video because I don't imagine it's like the most popular question or piercing, but I figured I was really anxious about it, specifically this one. I've wanted it for years, ever since I went to beauty school and my friend, um, she had one and I used to ask her about it all the time and she, it just looked really good on her, but I don't know. I was nervous about it and I finally did it and I love it. And when it heals, I'm going to get one on the other side. I'm excited. I was really, really nervous about it, and I couldn't be happier. It's probably my favorite piercing, even though I hate the jewelry that's in it. It is my favorite so far. So, if you do have any questions that I didn't answer here, leave them down below. But I think I covered most of the stuff. Have a good day, guys.